another busy day for residents of a Baganaram community in Maiduguri as heavy security has been beefed up to cordon the area where the Maiduguri railway terminus is located. An unusual movement at the premises during the weekend raised eyebrows after residents cited some men trying to cut away train coaches that were already loaded on heavy duty trucks, thereby raising an alarm. The trucks, which had the train coaches belonging to the Nigeria Railway Corporation, were then stopped by residents. The police were swiftly alerted about the development, leading the arrest of six persons. This is the railway terminus, Maiduguri, where men of the said police arrested six persons allegedly to be involved in an attempt to cut away these coaches. Today, the premises of the station is filled up with security personnel to ensure that equipment at the terminus are secured from vandals. There was a distress call received from railway quarters. One Aliu Menasara was uh, arrested, including the driver. Because of the because of the of the of the heaviness of the of the, of the coach, we could not evacuate it to police station. We left the exhibit in C2, that is at the railway quarters. Residents of the area spoke with Arise News and narrate how the issue happened. We observed people packing the railway equipment. We are uncertain whether the authority is aware of this, so we immediately alerted security personnel. We thank God that the security had been able to prevent the theft of the coaches, and we call on the government to continue to safeguard the property of the people and the government. But the Nigerian Railway Corporation has in the meantime denied that the coaches were being stolen. It claims that the trucks were hauling the coaches to just Plateau State for maintenance. When Arise News made further inquiries on the arrested suspects, the police spokesman in Borno State, Kamilu Shatambaya, on Tuesday disclosed that the arrested suspect had been released on bail. Meanwhile, the Borno State government has on its part revoked the land title belonging to the Nigerian Railway Corporation in the area due to what it says is the outbreak of criminal activities and immorality within buildings in the railway compound. Arise News got in touch with the headquarters of the Nigerian Railway Corporation for an update, including an interview, but we were told that the managing director is on official trip abroad. For Arise News, Sunny Adam.